Today we're going to make uh, butternut squash soup. Uh, before we start uh, the actual cooking, I want to explain how important it is to have all of our uh, preparation ahead of time. This is called mise en place in uh, French and in the uh, professional chef uh, everyday talk. What we need to have for this recipe are diced onions, uh, diced celery, diced carrots, diced potatoes, diced butternut squash, a few garlic cloves, and some cinnamon sticks. Um, we want to make sure that everything is ready to go because once we start putting everything in the pot, um, everything is going to start going really fast and we want to make sure that we just have it handy in order to uh, do it by the uh, timing that the recipe calls for. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to place a pot over high heat and heat the bottom of it a little bit. What that does, it basically expands the material um, and when we add the oil and whatever uh, fruit or vegetable we're adding to the pan, basically it doesn't stick to the pan. If I took the pan and I just placed it here and I put the oil and then I turned it on, everything is going to stick to the bottom of the pan. So first thing that we want to do, put the pan on, heat it up a little bit, you can just feel with your hand, you don't need to touch it, but just once you feel that it's warm, we're going to add a little bit of our extra virgin olive oil. There's about one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in there. And then next we're going to add the uh, diced onion. You can see that the oil starts to smoke lightly. Then you want to add the diced onions. the diced carrots and the celery all at the same time. Once I got the carrot, celery and onions uh, sweating here, I am going to add the uh, butternut squash. the four garlic cloves, three cinnamon sticks, and my diced potatoes. I'm going to mix it all well. I'm going to add some of our uh, kosher salt. about one tablespoon and I'm going to add about two teaspoons of uh, uh, ground white pepper and I'm going to mix it well. At this point we're going to add a half a cup of white wine and we're going to boil the white wine until all the alcohol is evaporated. We're just going to bring it to a boil and cook it for about three minutes. After about three minutes of uh, cooking down the uh, white wine, we're going to add a quart of water, just enough to cover all the vegetables. Then we're going to bring it to a boil over high heat. Cover it and then reduce the heat to medium low and cook it for 20 minutes. So at this time we got all the uh, vegetables uh, completely cooked inside the uh, soup pot right here. Uh, what we want to do is remove the cinnamon sticks because we don't want to blend them. And now we're going to transfer the soup into the blender. We're going to take the solids. Let's say up to here and then I'm going to 
put enough liquid to cover. When you uh, blend something hot, you want to make sure that you put the top on and then you remove the little cap that's on top. Because if you don't, the steam is going to make everything blow up all over the place. Um, so we're putting the top, we're just removing the cap like that, and we're putting it right here. Um, I'm going to start pulsing on low. And then I'm going to go on into liquefy. Once you got the soup all blended to a smooth consistency, you want to make sure that the thickness is right. You want to take a spoon, you want to dip it in. If you run your finger on the back of the spoon and the soup stays in two separate areas, then you got the consistency properly. For plating the soup, you want to take the soup, you want to place about six to eight ounces of soup into a bowl. That's about two or two and a half labels, depending on how hungry you are. You want to take some chopped chives and sprinkle them around. And then you want to take a little bit of our Nature Has Flavor truffle oil and drizzle that around the soup. 